Kyrie, are you surprised that you did hurt people? Uh, surprised that I did hurt people? Are you surprised that reaction and some of the things that you did hurt people? Yeah, I, I think I can ask a better question. It's just, where were you when I was uh, a kid figuring out that uh, 300 million of my ancestors are buried in America? Where were you guys asking those same questions when I was a kid dealing with learning about the traumatic events of my familial history and what I'm proud to come from and why I'm proud to stand here and why when I repeat myself that I'm not going to stand down, it has nothing to do with dismissing any other race or group of people. I'm just I'm proud of my heritage and what we've been through. And uh, the fact that this has pinned me against the Jewish community. And uh, I'm here answering questions of whether or not I'm sorry or not on something I didn't create. And it was something I shared. And I'm telling everybody I'm taking responsibility. Then that's where I sit. So, you know, these same questions that you guys ask, me dealing with it as being a melanated, pigmented person, all around the world and dealing with racial biases against my skin color, demeaning me because of my religious beliefs. And I'm still sitting in the seat standing. So uh, I take my full responsibility. Again, I'll repeat it for posting something on my Instagram or Twitter that may have had some unfortunate falsehoods in it. But I also am a human being that's 30 years old and I've been growing up in a country that's told me that I wasn't worth anything and I came from a slave class and I come from a people that are meant to be treated the way we get treated every day. So I'm not here to compare anyone's atrocities or tragic events that their families have dealt with generations of time. I'm just here to continue to expose things that our world continues to put in darkness. I'm a light. I'm a beacon of light. That's what I'm here to do. You guys ask me questions about basketball, I give you my expert opinion. You guys ask me about other things, I give you my opinion, and it's met with whatever you believe the perception or the deception is. You guys investigate my life every day, and you justify it by serving your own purpose, which I honor. I would like the same respect in return, figuring out just like anyone else. So please keep that same energy when we're talking about anti other things. Because just because I post a documentary doesn't mean I'm anti-Semitic. And doesn't mean that I'm automatically standing with everyone that is believing in that. So it's unfortunate timing that we're in, but I'm glad that I could stand on the truth because I'm not afraid of these mics, these cameras. I used to be looking everyone in the eye and telling them the truth. And I'm proud of who I am. Any label that you put on me, I'm able to dismiss because I study. I know the Oxford Dictionary, you can look it up, right? Just one of the biggest mistakes I had in being a kid was not knowing European or Western language. Until I started looking it up and understanding the definitions and why they say, if you want to trick a black person, put it in the book. I was wondering my whole life why they said that. Now I'm 30 years old and I know reading is a superpower because it helps me understand where I'm going and where I come from. It's like a tree with roots.